Hello guys, this is Bull Cable back with another Boom Beach video and today we're just going to be playing about kind of clearing our base up and just playing with the tank medic strategy for you guys. Um, sorry I did not upload yesterday a proper gameplay video, I uploaded the uh, making of the machine gun video that the Boom Beach team also uploaded. Um, which is really, really cool. You guys should definitely check that out. I'll be in the description down below. But anyway, we're just um, having a look at our base. Um, basically, kind of the offensive, unless you've got ice statues or any prototype defense, you're not really going to be able to defend, even if you have a maxed out base. So, and this is just going to be me doing my Colonel Gearheart um, with really what we've got. I don't ever really do Colonel Gearheart like legit. I just get like the rewards even though it's kind of a cheap way to do it oh my goodness that that am um, grappler has so much health it's unbelievable so we're gonna have to go in and do the exact same thing again get the barrage out and then artillery if we just hurry up my goodness destroy it destroy there we go. Now we can lay at least one set of tanks, two set of tanks. And then we can use the medics just to heal up. And we'll just get some free, um, free, uh, what's it called? Free gear modules, free, oh my goodness, I actually don't know what it's called. But anyway, we're just going to get some of the rewards for doing this and just basically leave after that. That's what I usually do normally. It's kind of a cheap way to do it, but... You know, it doesn't really particularly matter too much. We really need to start healing that tank up. Get a med kit on it as well, just to make sure that we get that. We can obviously use like things like shocks to delay the time for the sniper towers. Then we're just going to slowly work our way towards um, some of the defences. Um, obviously watching out for some of the boom cannons if they start becoming a, a problem. We're just going to lay some critters over there to stall some time as well. The second these boom cannons become into play, I will shock them. So, yeah, we're just working our way, get as much of these cogs as possible, get as much of the rewards. And this is what I usually do most of the gear hearts, which is kind of cheap, but um, whatever it takes, guys, whatever it takes to get some extra rewards. I'm not really too fussed uh, about the rest, so I just basically do that. So, um, we're, we're in the range of that boom cannon now. We smoke... We're just going to pull back. We did lose a tank, which is kind of annoying. And we did lose one medic. And we lost two tanks, which is really bad. But, you know, we could have easily retreated earlier. And then, you know, if we retreated earlier, we could have came back in. I just want to see what the next threshold is. And um, it is at 20. So we will just jump in just for one attack. Just to get the iron. So that will just be basically us. We can really go in anyway. We only need two modules so we could just come in here then lay the medics and they just like double shock we only need to take two defenses down so it's super easy there's some critters as well there we go we reached the, the threshold get back in there and that's us so that's what i usually do guys it's kind of cheap but you know it's what you do to get the resources and um, now we can actually do some real tax on the bases and um, please leave a like on the video if you guys are um, enjoy the Boom Beach videos. Leave a like on any single Boom Beach video you guys watch. If you guys watch any Boom Beach, just to keep the community going and it, 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 all the content creators out there. There's a lot of good ones at the moment um, doing Boom Beach. And yeah, I think we all appreciate it. But um, yeah, so we're just working our way through some NPC bases. We are uh, two tanks down. I should have. No, we're not. We I did skip them, yeah. So we're just going to barrage here. We've got a lot of GBE. There's a lot of strategy you can take down NPC bases with nowadays that are super, super, super easy. So, not nothing much of a problem. Really, nothing at all. I just love the tank medics so much. I'm going to need to watch out for the medics there. And, guys, if you guys didn't know, back in the day, tanks used to take double damage to boom mines and cannons and boom cannons. So, you can imagine how hard it used to be back in the day to use the tanks. But, if you guys won't believe this, but... When the um when they took that mechanic away, the tank medic used to be super strong. And that was also in the days before like shock launchers and stuff like that as well. So, you know, if there's no shock launchers, no prototype defenses, no shock mines, not as much boom mines, 
I mean, everything was the, the offensive was so much better. Even though that they have tried to make the defense a little bit better by implementing like new defenses and stuff like that, but it just still isn't good enough. You have ice statues. If you add any more defense, it's not going to help the average player with all their offensive statues. It's really just going to be helping the all the icers. So there's not really a way of balancing the defense and offense in this game because it's people's preference in terms of how they use their statues. Unless you make it mandatory where you have to have certain ice or you have to have certain offensive statues, um, then you're not really going to get the balance there. But, you know... If you're at the top of the leaderboard, you guys you guys can just watch them and just basically see what they use. They use quite a lot of ice statues because they need to keep some of their victory points. Um, they're, they're not all um, they're not all uh, invincible up there, guys. Because if you watch Max videos, he can take down a lot of highly boosted bases using the Cryoneer Rifle Medic Zuka strategy. Um, it's a really really good strategy, guys, and I probably might introduce it. No, I think I did do a video saying it was one of the best strategies in the game. It is very good for running down uh, real player bases, but it just costs a lot to regen the troops. And since I'm quite a low victory points, I can just use the tank medics and just burn through bases. I do try and like to basically mix up what kind of troop combos I'm using at the time. But um, basically, this is my favourite troop combo out there. So, um, what kind of troop combos do you guys use? I remember if you guys are lower, you guys will probably be using Heavy Zooka, Warriors... That's basically the only thing most people use at the bottom. Maybe RZM, Rifleman, uh, Zooka Medic, just Rifleman Medic. I'm not very really sure. There's quite a lot of different strategies out there. And yeah, this is definitely my favorite. So we'll take the real player base for you guys. We've got level 59 here. Let's have a look here. Um, He's got two prototype defenses. We'll give it a go. He's, got, he's probably got ice somewhere behind the base. Oh, I just clicked. Oh, well, we'll just do this anyway. So, um, he's got himself a grappler, we'll just, we'll work our way down the left hand side here. We're gonna, I think I'm gonna just barrage this, honestly, it's just a pain, I hate the grappler. I used to think it was a really bad, um, prototype defense in Tull. I mean, it's a pretty bad de defense for, like, any other troop combo except for tank medics or scorchers, it just completely kills them. So, and obviously since the... It was the tank medic weekend. A lot of people are using the grappler, which is pretty smart. And yeah, that's, that is pretty smart doing that because, especially me using all the time, they get a huge advantage. Um, is there a hidden. Another hidden prototype defense somewhere? Am I blind? Did I miss like a doom cannon or something? Because I'm getting hit pretty heavy here. I don't know. I'm losing some tanks quite fast. I'm not very sure what it is. These boom cannons are coming into play, but they shouldn't be destroying me that fast. Yeah, we're just going to barrage them up. I should have really been doing that from the start because they are not that high level. But they do still pack a punch, which is really annoying. Um, well, what's happening? These shock launchers are just so annoying. I wasted so much GB taking down the just work our way slightly forward we're just going to smoke that and we're going to reflare back in here because these guys if i can take that out that's just going to make my life so much easier one barrage shouldn't take it out hopefully it can it can one barrage can take that thing out we should have been doing that through the whole of this and we've managed to take this down but that was really, really, really messy and that's very embarrassing actually. But anyway, we managed to take it down. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, we'll maybe do one more NPC base for you guys. But um, yeah, I'm really enjoying these Boom Beach videos. There should be, there's a little, if you guys seen on the forums, there was some sort of update coming out. It's just minor fixes into the game. So have a good look out for that. Um, there is probably going to be a big update on the Ryzen, which is going to be really, really good. So anyway, hope you guys really enjoy the video. Please subscribe for more Boom Beach videos. Um, and before I go, I'm just going to have a look. You guys can have a look at my power powder nearly hitting 700 power powder, which is crazy. But um, yeah, anyway, hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for more Boom Beach videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.